Implementing Channel Promotions Overview, 1. Identifying paid, earned, shared, and owned media in this chapter considering when to use paid media discovering the value of retargeting understanding why owned media is important. 2. Using search marketing. Focusing on search marketing fundamentals analyzing search queries optimizing for search traffic on popular sites attracting robots earning links to your web pages. 3. Making content shareable. Understanding why people share getting your message out on social platforms examining the five W's of sharing trying out social bookmarking. 4. Considering email marketing. Reviewing types of marketing email building a promotional calendar writing and designing marketing email making your emails deliverable. Identifying paid, earned, shared, and owned media Have you struggled with the concepts of paid, earned, shared, and owned media? It's no wonder. Within each of these categories is a rotating variety of options that could confuse even the most seasoned online marketer. Also, because the allocations for each type vary widely, the stakes can be high. Getting it wrong isn't an option. Content marketing has added another layer to the promotion puzzle. Now marketers have to decide the budget mix as well as what to market. Should they pay for product, service, or content promotions, or a mix of all three? In this chapter, you look at each type of media to understand the pros and cons of each. You also see how to put together a strategy that fits your specific needs. Understanding types of media. The notion of paid, owned, and earned media has been the accepted model for several years. In 2014, Mashable reported on a new version of the model in the article, Why PR is Embracing the Peso Model http colon slash slash mashable.com slash 2014 slash 12 slash 05 slash public relations industry. Reviewing each media type to help you understand the peso model, each of the four media types are paid media, this type of media refers to the advertising promotions that you pay for. When choosing these options, you need a budget and a conviction that you will get a return on the money you spend. Examples, Facebook ads, promoted tweets, traditional and native advertising, print ads, paid search, mobile ads, app ads, and Amazon ads earned media, this is the media that you get when other sources recognize and promote your content for you. Your brand or your content is deemed valuable and is showcased in some way or reshared. Examples, influencer reviews, traditional PR, and media relations shared media, this refers to the shares you get from others on the various social media platforms. Examples, shares on Facebook, Twitter, Google+, Tumblr, and others owned media, this type of media is controlled by you and is becoming more and more important as time goes on. Examples, website, blogs, emails, microsites, apps, collateral, user-generated content. Asterisk attributes of paid, earned, shared, and owned media asterisk. Type control of distribution by brand audience targeted paid medium to high potential customers earned low potential and current customers fans shared low potential and current customers owned high current customers. Utilizing paid media. Of all the categories in the peso model, paid media is the easiest to understand. It includes traditional advertising such as paid search as well as forms of advertising such as retargeting and native advertising. Dealing with native advertising Another method marketers use to overcome banner blindness is native advertising NA. NA refers to advertising that is made to match the editorial content on its respective platform. Considering programmatic buying the ability to make ad decisions in real time is another important development for advertisers. It's called programmatic buying PG, and allows brands to send ads to their potential customers via such things as emails or mobile phone numbers based on their current website behavior. Ads can be seen across the consumer's devices, mobile devices as well as laptops. They don't have to be in one place. Advertisers have greater control over what their customers see, and when. They don't have to wait until the customer triggers the ad online. Real-time customer interactions can be measured to provide valuable insights and help advertisers make predictive decisions. This type of advertising replaces the tediousness of making individual buying decisions manually. Finding out what you need to know from advertisers knowing your budget is not the only thing you need to concern yourself with when you're spending money to advertise. Because of all the decisions you have to make, you want to make sure that you have all the facts about the platform on which your ad will be placed. 
Here are some items you want to consider when making choices. Demographics – Who is the audience that receives these native ads? How do the platform owners slice and dice their measures? Geographics – What kind of geographical information does the native advertising platform collect and how granular can it get? Reporting functions – What and when are analytics available to you? Can you get custom reports? Creative materials necessary – What do you need to supply your advertising platform, and in what time frame? Special source – What does this platform offer that you can't get elsewhere? Championing earned media Earned media is prized because it gives you the boost that you hoped for when you planned your content. You and your team dreamed of hitting the front pages of digital magazines and the local news with the content you carefully crafted. Enhancing shared media You'd be hard-pressed to find an online business today that doesn't try to make the most of its social media efforts. Whether it succeeds is another question. Businesses know that shared media is low-cost and packs a powerful punch. You've heard that friends and other customers make up the most powerful and credible sales force for any product. But are you maximizing the effects of shared media? Amplifying owned media as the creator and distributor of your content, you're free to publish as much and as often as you like. You don't have to worry that Facebook or Twitter will change their policies and wipe out your best content. Owned media is becoming ever more important because of the control it provides the marketer. You can improve the value of your press release in three ways. If your press release is picked up by a major outlet like Forbes, link that on your website to drive traffic. In the press release, insert a call to action CTA to a landing page that has clear value to your customers, such as a free trial. In the press release, link to a piece of content on your site that has already garnered great publicity so that even more people can find it. Creating a framework for achieving the right mix Are you curious to know how other companies divide their spending? According to the eConsultancy Marketing Budgets Report, marketers are dividing their budgets as follows, paid media, paid media, 39%, owned media, 35%, earned media, includes shared, 26%. 2. Using search marketing. Focusing on search marketing fundamentals, analyzing search queries, optimizing for search traffic on popular sites, attracting robots, earning links to your web pages. No discipline in digital marketing has evolved over the years quite as dramatically as search marketing. In the early days of the internet, search engines like AltaVista, Lycos, and Yahoo were fairly unsophisticated. Search marketers who understood the simple factors these sites used to rank websites could drive search engine traffic to a page regardless of its quality. Today, search engines like Google consider hundreds of factors in deciding which web page to display for a search. In the current search marketing landscape, the best web pages usually win. Sure, loopholes still exist, exploited by less than reputable search marketers, but the scales have tipped toward those who play by the rules. In this chapter, you discover those rules and put yourself in a great position to receive traffic from the billions of searches that take place each day. Knowing the three key players in search marketing Three main players make up the search marketing landscape, each with a different motivation. Understanding who the players are and what they want gives you a better understanding of how to make search marketing work for your business. The important players in search marketing are searchers, people who type search queries into search engines, search engines, programs that searchers use to find products, services, content, and more on the internet, marketers, the owners or managers of websites and other channels that publish content and make offers to people on the internet. Understanding searchers needs the key for both marketers and search engines is understanding the mindset of searchers. By understanding what motivates searches, marketers and search engines can serve them better. Knowing what search engines want a search engine company, such as Google, is a business, and like any other business, it must generate revenue to survive. As a result, it's useful to understand how search engines generate that revenue. If you understand what motivates the search engine, you can plan your search strategy accordingly. Targeting search queries. To help make your brand discoverable and available to a searcher, marketers have two broad categories of search queries to keep in mind, branded queries, keywords or keyword phrases that searchers type in search engines when they're looking for a specific business, brand, product, or service. The search query, Southwest Airlines, for example, is a branded query that Southwest Airlines should target. 
non-branded queries, keywords or keyword phrases that searchers type into search engines when they're not looking for a specific business, brand, product, or service. The search query, fly to Chicago, for example, is a non-branded query that Southwest Airlines should target. Defining a search query. Following are examples of intent and context of three people who might be searching the internet. Person 1, I want to start a vegetable garden because I want to add organic food to my diet. Intent, want to start a vegetable garden. Context, add organic food to my diet. Person 2, I want to start a vegetable garden because I want to spend more time outdoors. Intent, want to start a vegetable garden. Context, spend more time outdoors. Person 3, I want to start a vegetable garden because I want to save money on grocery bills. Intent, want to start a vegetable garden. Context, save money on groceries. A search marketer should focus on satisfying both the intent and context of searches. Each intent and context represents a query worth targeting. In the preceding examples, searchers might type any of the following queries in a search engine, start a vegetable garden intent only, add organic food to my diet context only, start an organic vegetable garden intent and context. Choosing the right queries to target. Each query typed in a search engine contains the searcher's intent and context, or both. To determine the intent and context that your ideal customer is typing in search engines, you need to do keyword research, using tools such as Google AdWords Keyword Planner https colon slash slash adwords.google.com slash keyword planner closing parenthesis. Coming up with keywords the old-fashioned way. To help with your brainstorming, answer questions like these in the subsequent example. Following are examples of how online shoe retailer Zappos might answer questions to sell shoes to people who plan to run a marathon. Q. What is our ideal customer researching before he buys our product or service? A. The ideal diet for a marathon runner. Q. What is our ideal customer interested in that's related to our product or service? A. Treating sore leg muscles. Q. What barriers does our ideal customer need to overcome before she buys our product or service? A. Finding time to train for a marathon. Q. What does our ideal customer hope to accomplish with our product or service? A. Running a marathon. Q. What information does our ideal customer need to evaluate our product or service against our competitors' products or services? A. Compare the weight of Nike and Adidas running shoes to train for a marathon. Using keyword research tools after brainstorming, you move on to your chosen keyword research tool. Dozens of good keyword research tools are available for purchase, but the free Google AdWords Keyword Planner https colon slash slash adwords.google.com slash keyword planner closing parenthesis meets the needs of most search marketers. Google provides this free tool to allow advertisers to research the behavior of searchers who use its search engine. Advertisers use the information provided by this tool to choose keywords they bid on. Running event, marathon runner, marathon tips. The Google AdWords Keyword Planner gives you the following information about each query, average monthly searches, the average number of times people have searched for this exact keyword based on the date range and targeting settings that you selected. Competition, the number of advertisers bidding on this keyword or keyword phrase for a paid traffic campaign. Turn to Book 5, Chapter 1 for information about paid traffic. In the competition column, you can see whether the competition for a keyword idea is low, medium, or high. Satisfying searches much like bloodhounds on a hunt, people often search the web until they satisfy their intent, context, or both. To compete for a search query, a marketer needs to create a web page or asset that satisfies the searcher's query. That web page or asset could be anything from a blog post to a product demonstration video. Optimizing your assets for specific channels after you've built a web page or asset that targets a specific intent, context, or both, you need to determine where that asset will live. The various places you can house your web pages or assets are channels. Starting with a searcher's intent and context helps you determine the correct channel to use to deliver the web page or asset. If you want to satisfy searchers with the intent of understanding how your product works, for example, you might create a product demonstration video, so it would make sense to choose YouTube as the channel for this asset.